Hi, I'm Jill Hobbs from Little Acorns with my next technique video for beginners Slick and Bright Colour I can show you how to make a brightly coloured child's floor puzzle piece into an altered art project blank step by step instructions which will give you an opaque base for whatever craft techniques you wish to do as a decorative painter, my inspiration is a quirky Christmas ornament, but the sky really is the limit on how many other ways these pieces could be used. Supplies used Deco Art Americana Acrylic Paints, Slate Grey DA068, Primary Red DA199. DecoArt Paint Adhesion Medium DS39 Floor Puzzle Piece Bought second hand at a car boot sale Palette Knife or Wooden Coffee Stirrer Art or Sea Sponge and Palette Paper There are two main problems to overcome The slick surface and the bright colours All surfaces need tooth for acrylic paint to adhere to. Slick surfaces don't have this, so we apply an adhesion medium. I've tried several options over the years. Some work on one surface and not on others. It is extremely frustrating when a project is finished and left to dry thoroughly and it starts to peel off when the varnish is applied. The air is turned a little blue at times which is not good for the blood pressure. A friend suggested I try the DecoArt Paint Adhesion Medium. Touch wood, I've not had a failure yet whilst using it. The best way to cover bright colours is to use an opaque coloured paint. I use either white or grey. Today I'm using grey under red. Red is a translucent colour this means that it takes lots and lots of coats of paint to achieve opaqueness. I don't have the patience for this. It takes too long to achieve. I've made up an example piece to show the differences between red only and red over grey. I taped off a stripe to see the original puzzle piece colour. Even after five layers of paint, the black lines still show clearly through the section painted with just red paint. Clean the surface and dry thoroughly. I wipe mine with a baby wipe. Any really dirty pieces I threw away. They were not worth the bother to clean. After all, these are made of cardboard and getting them saturated with water will ruin them. Mix the paint and medium. Follow the instructions on the bottle. 50-50. We don't need very much for one puzzle piece. Squeeze out a blob of paint and then squeeze out another blob of adhesion medium that is the same size. Mix thoroughly together with either a palette knife or a wooden coffee stirrer. Mix until all the white liquid is absorbed into the grey. Prep an art or sea sponge. Load with the mix and using the eggshell sponging technique, cover the entire surface with this mixture. Dry with a hair dryer on a low setting and repeat on the other side if you are using both sides. Please watch the technique video for sponging if unsure how to do this. Number 9. 
No need to wash the sponge yet. Squeeze out more grey paint. Continue the eggshell sponging using paint only. Dry between coats until you have opaque coverage. Wash out the sponge ready for the next colour. Squeeze out a blob of red paint and repeat the eggshell sponging until this too is opaque. Dry thoroughly. This completes the project blank for my Christmas ornament. A list of other slick surfaces that can be painted with this technique is printed on the Paint Adhesion Medium Bottle label. And until next time, happy painting! Any really dirty... <laughs> <laughs>